Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jared here, and I have something really interesting for you that uh, will deal with your taint from your crucible automatically. So you can see here that I have 75 Ignis in there, and it's being decomposed as we speak. So, and you notice just a second ago, this block moved forward. Obviously, it's a piston that's doing it. Uh, that's not, not the interesting part. Uh, the interesting part is mostly to do with how it knows there's something there. Um, and so I'm going to show you uh, some really cool stuff. You see it there. Go once more. I'm going to clear it out real quick. And you're going to, every now and again, you're going to have some um, stuff that it can't handle. Um, this is pretty fast, and it'll deal with around 80% from what I've noticed, 80 to 90% of your your uh, your flux and everything. Um, so you're not going to have to worry about it too much. But every now and again, like you just saw, you're going to find some of that. Um, it's not a perfect system. But I'm going to make something called Magic Tallow. And that requires two Precantatio, that little uh, purple wand you see there, and then uh, Rotten Flesh. You can see here that this has an extra Ignis. And that's how I got that extra Ignis, is because I failed recording earlier. So I'm just going to throw this in there, and I'm going to show you exactly what it does. So there we have that. And we have that extra ignis in there. And so I'm going to clear that out real quick. And you can see that instead of having that big old flex taint stuff fly up, it automatically dealt with it. And I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really simple. Uh, this is not required. It's just something there. I'm kind of uh, thinking about doing this in one of my worlds and just kind of testing that out. Uh, but all the stuff you need is right here. Uh, so you, here's your, your crucible. And you're going to need something from random things, uh, a block detector, um, and that's going to need a face into here. You're going to need a uh, pulse former, and then you're going to need a repeater and some redstone um, and a sticky piston right there. And so what this does is whenever this de detects a block, it will um, output a redstone signal on all its sides. And so this will put it into a pulse. If it wasn't a pulse, then this thing would just stay here because it would continuously detect because this block would be right here and it would start detecting this instead of the taint. You don't want that. You want it to just pulse and come back. Uh, if you just have this one with the taint, you're going to have a uh, this block right here. Instead, it's going to be right there the whole time. So that's why we need this extra circuit here with this extra tick. Um, and that's going to slow it down just a little bit, but it's going to make it so much more stable. And so whenever there's a block there, it's going to push it out of the way. Nothing much to it, really. So I just added this little drawbridge here so you can easily um, take out any taint or whatever with a flick of a lever instead of needing a wand on you. It's just there. And um, I find that useful. It's pretty simple. You can kind of see what to do. And uh, I'm going to just not even explain how to do it any more than this, because it's pretty self-explanatory. It's really simple. And so uh, I think that's it. So thanks for watching, and have a great day. Hope this helps.